what do you do after buying a domain for your website hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you what you will do after you've bought a domain so having said that let's just jump into the video so you've bought a domain and now you're wondering what do i do with it do i go ahead and create a website with it if you were thinking that then how would you create a website with that well in this video i'll show you not only can you create a website with the domain but you can also go ahead and create a business email or you know connect it with an email service to create your own custom emails as well so let's go ahead and do that so i have this domain right here and over here if you've bought it on godaddy.com you can go ahead and create your own website through godaddy you can go ahead and set up an email account as well. Or if you already have an existing site on, let's say, Wix or in WordPress, you can easily go ahead and connect them through here as well. And it's pretty simple. Let's say you want to connect your website, right? To connect the website on Wix, you would need to go ahead and get a paid plan. So upgraded plan. So if I come over here, right, go into premium subscriptions, you need to upgrade your plan. But let me just show you where it is and here you should find the premium plan but uh it's currently not showing but that's fine uh we'll just go ahead and go into the domain section right here and here you can go ahead and connect a domain that you already own so if you click on it it'll show you you need to go ahead and upgrade your account so these are all the accounts or all the plans that are currently available so right here so here we go so as you can see uh these are all the plans that are available so there's the light one the core the business and the business elite i recommend if you're just starting out go with the light one to get the basics right it's going to cost you nine euros per month you get two collaborators two gigabytes of storage uh, marketing and you get one free domain for one year so you can go ahead and connect it but if you want to just try it out go for this one but if you really want to you know go ahead and get started with it go with the core one because it'll give you 50 gigabytes storage you can add five collaborators and you get to accept payments and e-commerce and all the good stuff as well so depends on you whatever you want but yeah you'll need to go ahead and upgrade your account next if you want to go ahead and connect it with your dashboard on wordpress again you would also need to go ahead and create a premium plan i'm currently using a free plan but the overall theme of it is exactly the same so let me just go ahead and sign into my other account and show you guys how you can do it all right so this is the other website let me go back to the dashboard and here we have our you know wordpress dashboard and here we can go ahead and connect the domain so we can, you can see we have already connected the domain if i were to go ahead and create a new site right all i would have to do is click on add new site and i can go ahead and create a new site and over here in the domains we can go ahead and find the domain so if we already have a domain we just simply click on transfer domain and here we have add domains unlock domains and all of that so let's go ahead and get started and here we just add in the domain name and if we click over here unique code providing ownership needed for the secure of transfer domain so we can find that in our godaddy account so this is the domain right if i were to go ahead and connect it with an existing site click on that button right there then i would need to go ahead and click on wordpress and over here i can just go ahead and add it so let me just go ahead and create a new website because this was to transfer the domain over onto wordpress and i don't want to actually go ahead and do that so let me go back to sites and over here we'll click on add new site here we can choose our domain use a domain i own and here i can go ahead and enter the name of the domain and then just hit continue give it a couple of seconds and here we have the option so as you can see we can use a domain i own all right this is the transfer domain it'll manage my domain directly onto wordpress.com or we can go ahead and connect a domain it depends on you let's go ahead and select the first one and then over here you can go ahead and get started with one of these personal plans but i already have a plan so and then we just go ahead and you know get started with it so what are your goals with the website so it depends on what you want to do so let's say we want to sell online site title over here and then hit the continue button and then choose a template to get started with so over here at the top we have some different uh, designs and templates so we can go ahead and select one of them so let's go with this one click on you know this was a premium theme these are all actually premium themes so let's go ahead and find one that isn't premium or anything let's go ahead and select this one which is the astra theme or the atar so we're going to click on continue here is the theme let's go visit our website 
and also copy the domain name which is right here we're going to copy it go back over here and select wordpress again and then just simply go ahead and add the name click on connect domain confirm this is the domain that we want we click on connect going to go ahead and process and there you go domain has been forward all right and this has been directly and has been redirected to this one right here so we are good to go after that you can go ahead and edit the website however you want it and you should be good to go now that is one way to do it you know you can go ahead and get started with the website now if you wanted to you know go ahead and create another thing you can do is you can go ahead and create an entirely different email with it as well so if you come over here into the dashboard of your domain go to email section right here and here you will find and get started with a professional email so what that would mean is once you create a website instead of saying www whatever your username is at the rate gmail.com it will be something like this one like support at your domain name dot store or dot com or whatever it is that whatever dot com or dot net domain that you've purchased right so you can go ahead and get started from here uh, but for that of course you need to go ahead and buy the account so right here you have to create a new account uh, either with the microsoft 365 or a professional account right so it depends on you uh, if you go with the professional account you can go ahead and select the individual or team and if you go with the individual it's going to be a little bit different and in it you get email that matches your domain you get 10 gigabytes of email storage mobile friendly email calendar and works with email apps of your choice so it's entirely dependent on you what you want to do with it so usually people use it to create their own businesses uh, to stand out with competition when applying for different jobs and stuff like that like online forums so instead of saying like you know sending your google account you have a professional account and you know it stands out so you can just say you can create a, a email with your own name as well so for example you can create a name like that says hello at the rate your name dot com so that also you know hello it gives you a sense of familiarity which i think is pretty cool but yeah uh, then you can just simply go ahead and select any of these accounts you want and give it a couple of seconds fill out the payment form right pay it and you should be good to go for that you are good to go after that you can complete the purchase and you can go ahead and start creating your own business email if you don't want to do this you can go ahead and use other websites as well like for example proton email or proton mail you can go ahead and create like a private email over here you can connect your own domain with this one and you should be good to go it will be a little bit cheaper than going with godaddy.com or any other website but yeah it depends on you so there you go those were a couple of things that you can do with your domain after you've bought them so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye